This is a fish trap. We call it the W design or M design. It depends on the way that you look at it. I'm on this end, so it looks like a W from your perspective. It probably looks like a, an M. You make this part narrow, kind of like a V, and what happens is it works like any fish trap where the fish feels confidence because it's wide at the beginning and they continue on in, but then they can't figure out how to get back out or they don't feel confident leaving. And I've tried to close off any exits. Now I've done a quick job of this. I would do a better job, but this is just for demonstration purposes. And then I took some crushed up willow leaves and put them along the edges to close up any exit I may have missed. And it also makes the fish feel comfortable. They'll get up underneath that and kind of hide and it's a simple design that you don't need any cordage for. You don't even need a knife for this. You could just find sticks on the ground or break them off the tree and set this up. And you can set multiple traps up along a pond, a creek, a stream, what have you. This works really good in a stream because if the current's going this way, the fish will feel confident going in, but they won't feel as confident coming out. But it's a simple design that won't require a lot of effort on your part. You can set up multiple traps to increase your odds. And it's probably one of the best traps I know. I've had a lot of success with this type of trap. If you have more than one person, or even if you're by yourself, you can make a lot of noise towards this trap and sometimes you'll drive fish into it and they'll hide inside there and they're kind of trapped. And all you gotta do is have something ready that you can close this off with and then you can make this huge and you can walk around it and gather up fish or you can keep it small like this. If it's big, what you want to do before you go in to check it is close off this area. Put some sticks, put some brush here, and then walk around in it and try to catch your fish so they don't accidentally find a way out. Because when they get scared, sometimes they'll scramble and get out. But I've used this more than any other trap, and it's the easiest one to set up.